Welcome back to God Girls Corner. God, yeah, by Shay. What net? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming back to view our videos. Um, today we have with us a special guest. Um, her name is Equia. And she's gonna be joining us as we talk about our topic today. So from what the title says, our topic is Africans hate African Americans. Let's discuss. Who would like to open the floor? Queen? Um, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so this topic is very important to me. Um, and Ratissa, you will testify. We went to the store to um, go do a return. And we saw this lady, from her accent and everything, she came across as an African woman. And the way she was talking to this African American boy, it was just so rude. Like, the boy did nothing. Like, he was asking for help, and she just had, like, a blank face, mm -hmm. and just bluntly, like, ignored the kid. Like, he, mm -hmm. so then he started catching an attitude. Like, I'm talking to you. Are you going to respond? Are you going to respond? And we're just like, so I think me and Vertusa wanted to jump in, and I'm like, yeah, is she going to respond? Like, <laughs> Say something like he's actually asking you a question and what he was doing he wasn't doing anything out of actually he wasn't even supposed to box it up according to Amazon's rules he's supposed to just like put it in just bring it to the store and they were supposed to return it so for me it was just like um it reminded me of like other incidents where like um like in college having a conversation with another student and then she's like but my mom said that Africans don't like us or like you know and I'm like we do like why won't we like you like I don't understand we all look alike outside like when we step outside of our comfort spaces we like we're all considered black people so I don't understand why but it's just this um there's tension yes. let's be real yeah. there is tension between yeah. our two communities yes. and i don't think it's hate hate is not the word for it but um i guess i would love for us to like get into like that tension why is there the tension there because i wanted to know even why this girl her mom told her yeah. like that africans didn't like them mm -hmm. or things like that and then me and her i'm telling her you could be my cousin from like you know, <laughs> many years ago <laughs> let's try to like trace that back so i guess yeah let's get into it well the first time i heard about it i think so it's a generational thing yes, yes. so our parents and people who came to the United States and really had the immigrant experience, a lot of them got pushed back from the African American community. Yes. Because in the United States, immigrants are like known as like stealing jobs mm -hmm. or like taking opportunities away from people. And so when they faced that backlash, a lot of them just got on the defensive and yes. were like, all right, so we're just not gonna interact with y'all. Mm -hmm. And then like Definitely. when they gave birth to kids. Um, or they brought kids over, they were like, don't hang out with those, those kids, kids. Yes. <laughs> because they're going to corrupt you in some way. Yes, and, like, shape or form. Yes. Right. And so, like, my friend told me it was, like, called, like, the Diaspora Wars or whatever. Like, that's the <laughs> official <laughs> title. <laughs> because it. it's, like, people that are, like, our age group that grew up in the United States, but we still had, like, the African experience because our good, parents yeah. are home yeah. and are very African. Like versus the people who are generationally African is what they're termed as, so African Americans, right? Um, who like you know trace their roots to Africa, but have been here since slavery and yeah. all of that stuff. But yeah, it's a problem. It's yeah, a huge it's a problem. problem. It really is a huge problem. I mean, I think like it goes both ways. I think like if you like Africans hate. African Americans, Afri I think it goes both ways. I think like there are certain African Americans who genuinely just don't like us African like when they see you something about you just disgust them yes. and like for me personally like growing like when we came here i found myself only hanging out with like the white kids mm -hmm. because the white kids didn't make fun of me yeah. do you get what i'm saying like yeah. even if they did i never heard it mm -hmm. but you know it was always the african americans that are like go back to your country mm -hmm. african booty scratcher yeah. you're too dark and i'm like well at the end of the day when you check the paper they say black we're in the same yeah. box category yeah. and stuff so like almost it's like you kind of shun them or you yeah. kind of like you don't want to approach them because you're like well you've made fun of me all my life why would i even want to get close to you but then i think as you get older and you start to talk to them you're like oh they i can learn something yeah. from them like their culture is really fun as well and i think it's sad and i hope like we're able to like bridge yeah. the gap yeah. between the two communities and speaking of their culture you know how they have the um what do you call it um 
superstition and mm -hmm. these things. Yeah, they we have, we have superstition. And they have it too, yeah. you know. And I've come to realize like jumping the broom, sometimes yeah. they do like don't sweep under people's feet mm -hmm. and yeah. their beliefs. Sometimes it goes with us. That's how you can tell we're really from the same place. And speaking about that, actually for me when I was in high school I've had like a group of um African Americans make fun of me. Mm -hmm. So but I never hold that against myself. We worked um at Great American Buffet and we had some one also got in the same a lady came in she's african-american and she had a problem with queen in case we work with her and she actually insulted her she for did. being it african was it her. was very very disrespectful yeah. like she looked down on her she told her to go back to where she, she came she from she's like what do you mean i'm from virginia <laughs> <laughs> like you know but it's it's what it is and me personally i never had a problem with um being african or african-american but what i know is when i was young let's say i'm dating someone mm -hmm. and the person is african-american when i bring introduce them to my parents they act different they're yeah. Like apprehensive. Yes. Like, yes they yes. act different because of the uh, assumption towards yes. them or and i can speaking to um like on the side of my parents i can tell they've had their own share mm -hmm. of dealing with them because going to the store looking for a job yeah. just by speaking you know people will start looking at you funny yeah. they won't give them like the job they're looking for or anything so i think africans eat african americans and african americans eat africans it's something that has been there Years. for long ago no yeah. one is like no we're not saying anything yeah. about it but it's something that is there we right now we are experiencing it our children will grow up and maybe someone will tell them that oh no this group of people you don't hang out with them but once you get to know them some Africans are good. Some African Americans are good. You just find your place, and then you go in that field instead of thinking there's hatred. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so <laughs> I also think it's a it's a lot of things. When you think about it, you know how sometimes, like when you're in a family and somebody offended the family, you don't know what exactly happened, mm -hmm. but you don't like the person. Mm -hmm. So you see, these people when they were brought here. They have a lot of pain in them. Mm -hmm. Some of them, now they don't talk about it. It's like disappeared on its own. But some of them actually felt that African people gave them up to, to be brought to this this thing they went through we as a slavery. Yeah, we're dead. We're and we're they dead. don't teach it well. So some of them, it's like it's in their blood. Mm -hmm. And then I also think it's also like a language barrier. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you can be talking to black Americans or African Americans, whatever, and they have no clue what you just said. But you're yeah. speaking English. <laughs> and they start right in front of you and they have no idea. Yeah. And then sometimes you say things that they don't use that word or they don't know, they've never heard it before. So sometimes it's not like they really hate us. But it's just that they don't they have no clue yes. what you just said. Yes. Like when you look at their culture and you look at us, they are us. They are yes. Africans. Yeah. The only opportunity is they came first. Pack side yes. yes. we yes. came on our own. <laughs> and even our own is called modern slaves. Yes. So we travel all the, the way from our work, work to come yeah. work, 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 yes. work, work, yeah. work. Yeah. So I think it's a lot of petty petty things that added up. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. they might not say they hate us, but their attitude says it, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, for me, I, I think a lot of it is also miseducation. Yes. Like, yeah. um, their black story has not been told so, right yeah, in yeah, this yeah. country. Like, whether it's the African story or the African American mm -hmm. story, it's never been told mm -hmm. the way it's supposed to be told. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of African Americans carry this burden of, I don't know my history. Right. Yes. Like, and I, I hear some African Americans say, oh, like, I don't even want to be called African American. Mm -hmm. I want to be black mm -hmm. and that because they don't know like if, if i say i'm african-american where do i trace myself yes. like am i Ghanaian? am i oh, liberian yes. am i sierra Leonean? Yes. like you, you get what i'm saying like yeah. many of them cannot pinpoint yes. where exactly they can say they're located which is for which is why for me i say i'm Ghanaian american because mm -hmm. i'm Ghanaian and i'm american too so i like to put it that way but they cannot trace it so it, it makes them there's bitterness there's this like you guys get to like own this like mm -hmm. history of like yeah. oh right. you're getting married right. there's a bright price when yes. you're you yeah. you have this food right. there's this attire Specific and everything culture. Yes. yes but i'm seeing that 
there's a switch especially in this generation you can see there's a switch because they're getting better education yes. Yes. they're going yeah. back to ghana or going yeah. back to like you know um back. i think ghana they had a yeah, back to, the back to mm -hmm. yes what it's called the year of the return the year of the return yeah. and going home yeah. a lot of like african americans are learning like so much mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. themselves yes. like their own culture and actually as so being able to uh, i guess associate the things they do within their culture mm -hmm. to like oh okay actually we've been doing it this way because many years ago yes. they did it this way yes. and slowly things get whitewashed let's yes. be real Yay. so to a point where it's not the same as it used to be but the more they get educated there's this no you're actually not my problem right you you right. know what i'm saying even with yeah. us too like you know maybe the older generation felt that way mm -hmm. where it's like oh are they still in jobs or there's this attitude when they go to the store where it's like oh this person um the way they talk can be like a little bit like out there or in your face yeah. quote unquote the angry black woman coming mm -hmm. into place so then africans don't want to associate themselves with yeah, that yeah. but the more both parties get educated it's like no you're not the problem yes. you're also not the problem like yeah. what's the problem we need to find a common ground and address it and just know that i, I shouldn't hate you and you yeah. shouldn't hate me yeah like we're not each other's problem no. we've we're all being dealt with the same system it's just like exactly. choking all of us yeah, like exactly. yes like it's exactly institutionalized it's everywhere it's hurting me it's hurting you so we're not each other's problem so yes. education is really bridging the gap it's really opening both parties eyes also i had a talk with somebody who was saying it's because like africans were coming from ghana for instance you don't have everything let's be real right. like there's certain things that's not there like the road is not perfect let's, right. let's, let's be honest <laughs> the roads are not perfect um they say there's a place there's no lies yes kind of things. water yeah. things like that mm -hmm. and then the african americans have been in this country or this country for so long things. so they don't know yeah. these yeah. like yeah. so yeah. when we come here it's like every small opportunity you get yeah. you yeah. take yeah. it and you yeah. put it on yeah. your chest like yeah. i'm mm -hmm. going to like make the best out oh, of this yeah. opportunity and for them it's like the opportunity has been yeah, there yeah, yeah. but at the same time the institution is discriminating against exactly. them to the yeah, point where exactly. it's like i want to climb up but i'm not able to right. to get where i need to get to so it's just that disparity right. there where it's like we see it as an opportunity yeah. for them it's like yeah, yeah an opportunity it. with like change right mm -hmm. yeah to that point yeah. even like there are studies that show that an african name will always go further than an African-American okay. name. Preach. Yes. Like, yep. me having a fully Ghanaian, like, yes. my name is Ikea Chumwa I don't have any English, English in there. Yeah. It takes my name way really further great. than somebody whose name is, like, Sean Johnson. Yes. Or Kovarsier. Like, right, or Kovarsier. Like, you won't go anywhere because they discriminate yes. against yes. you. Once they scan your name, yes. once they scan, like, they don't even care about skin color at yes. a certain point. They yeah. just care about the fact that yeah. you're African-American. Yes. 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 Yeah, and from the onset, that was their um, idea from for the white man. Mm -hmm. Well, so from the onset, they, they wanted them to get lost. They shouldn't have a culture. They shouldn't have anything that would trace them back. Mm -hmm. Which is the separation of families. Is the, that yeah. the, your mother goes yeah. to this, this state, state, your dad yeah. is in another state. Right. Like, they would let them keep their names. Yeah. If they had kept their names and we had come on the onset, they know they are asking, yes. oh, I'm from here, I'm coming. Yes. We, we just came yes. before you. Yes. Yeah. But they took all those things away, away. from yes. them. So they have no clue. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to the point of miseducation, so I studied African studies, mm -hmm. just so you know. <laughs> um, and I was reading an article so I studied the development of African studies in the United States and what that meant for black American people and what that meant for Africans coming in um, and there was one point like in the 60s when African studies were really taking root where African Americans were actually like no we don't want this because mm -hmm. there was shame associated with being African. Okay. If okay. white people are telling you that they're barbaric, that they're always naked, mm -hmm. they're always they're living poor, on trees, right? They're living they're on monkeys. trees, they're, right? Like if they're telling you all of these things, why would you want to be associated, associated with, that? with that? Yeah. So why would you even like? And when you see these people, you have all these stereotypes in your head. head. Even though you see them face to face, they're not yes. like that. It's still like. Well, I don't know. I don't and know. And I really don't yeah. want to be associated with mm -hmm. you. And you'll only bring me down when I've been trying so, so hard, hard to, to get yes. out. Yes. But I think like to touch on what she said about like going further with your name, I think it has to do with the fact that like with Africans, we're brought up to like almost kind of like if someone is your superior, you need to respect them. You get it? So we go into a 
place of worth like our schools and stuff and i'm like i'm always going to let you see the best of me yeah. i'm never gonna let you see the negative parts of me because i want you to think of me only in a positive yeah. light whereas like african americans they were raised in this system this system tells you speak up your mind yeah. be honest be yeah. truthful and with them speaking your mind sometimes it's you can be very emotional mm -hmm. and they don't care to hide that part about themselves so i think it's like it's almost kind of like it's our positive but our negative in a sense because we almost sell ourselves yeah. just to go to the top yes. Yes. whereas they're not willing to you know it's like i'm yeah. not gonna forget who i am yeah. just because you're gonna give me a little minuscule position yeah like this we should say like it's like where Africans are modern day slaves and that like they are overworked oh, because yeah. they have yeah. two, three jobs. Yep. Come yeah. on. We don't speak up. Yeah, you take yeah, right. every Get your pee, you take it. Exactly. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. it's okay. It's okay. I'm being called in every day, but exactly. I'm gonna go who it's okay. Like, but then we start go. looking like the model black people. Yes. Which yes. is African American oh they look like they're not doing, doing anything. anything. And yes. it's like, no, they just know that they won't take that. Yeah. They won't take that, yep. Yep. Which, yep. Is, yeah. which is very, is very, very important because, you know, when I was going through a lot of struggle at work, I remember, like, telling someone, I wish, like, I had some African-American oof in me. Yeah. And <laughs> they, they were like, what do you mean? And I said, no, because, like, my culture, it tells me, be quiet, mm -hmm. queen, that's an adult, yes. don't say anything. Yeah. So then I shut, like, my mm -hmm. mental, yeah. emotional state is, like, boom, shut yeah. down. Like, I'm not even going to respond. I'm just going to choke inside. And then when I come out, I'm going to vent to yeah. everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> but then to them, it's like, no, like, she's quick to go, no, yeah. I'm not going to take that no, from you. Yeah. You're not going to talk to me this yeah. way. I refuse. I reject. I cancel it. Like, a guy <laughs> told me, he said, I say, not today, Satan. Like, you're not going to bring that to my, like, not my doorstep not today and which is why like some uh african-american women are put into that category of like yes. every black women yeah. like i'm at that point i'm like it's a compliment like yes. you tell me how many black, i'm like it's a compliment it means i'm confident it means i'm strong i'm vocal like i see the positive in it now and now i'm beginning to like get some of that like you know i'm pocketing it in, so i'm waiting that comes at me that's what you say i've been training yes so like and first when i said it, it was like why like and i was like i don't know because our african community like the african culture sometimes can just like be dumping out on women yeah. to the point where it's like you don't know what to do about it so it, it's just it's very different but from i don't think it's hate and if people really knew that like if they know what we know and we also know what they know, like, yeah, it's not that you would be like, like, like that's the word be like, 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 oh my god, like, those are like, I, I hang out with so many African Americans, Africans, like, at my place of work, it's very diverse, but it's like, like, when I said, like, the calls that I sit on is just like black women or just like black people, and I'm like, the power in the room, like, you can't even trade it for anything, but that's because there's like. I get you, right. like we, there's yes. an understanding there, yes. and it's like, you know, and honestly, the incident that I was talking about, Vetusa stopped me. I almost went to the girl and said, my sister, why? Why, why are you talking to me? <laughs> like that? Like, yeah. So me and Vertusa, like, Vertusa, like, can we please don't say anything? I know you want to tell, like, you want to address, to the point where I paid my food, and I went full circle back, <laughs> and came back, and I wanted to address her so bad, but I had to, like, when she said, don't do it, I said, fine. But I, me and her kept telling the boy, in the future, go here, don't come here, don't allow this to happen, and stuff like that, but... I wish it didn't happen, but maybe I'm thinking this lady also had that has that misconception. Yes. Oh, they're lazy people yes. and stuff like that. But they're not lazy people. No, they're no. hardworking people yeah. living in a very ridiculous society. Yeah. Let's yeah. call yeah. this country yeah. what it is, like you know. So it it just oh, it's it killed me, and you you see it in like other places. Yeah. I'm like, you find it problematic that you went to the Asian lady store <laughs> and then she's following you right. for stealing. Yeah. You are not going to steal her, Thank but you. she didn't want to steal her. So then why treat a fellow yeah, person like that yeah, looks like just that. like you? When it comes to that, it doesn't just happen to, let's say, African American. All of us! All of us! Because when we go yes, yeah. you see? So it's yeah. like that hate or whatever mis misconception that is there. Yeah. Yeah. It needs to be um broken. It like, does. We have to teach it in a better way. Like, but yes, you know, brush over the freaking topic. They take an hour to teach you let's say African American women. Yes. 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 Yes.
no. had the issue. No, the system has told them it. not to no, teach it. it. it I'm sad. a simony, I'm a child. They don't yeah. want to teach yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Because let me tell you something. The reason why they don't want to teach it is because they have to face your truth. Yes. If you want to teach it, they can't do it. Because let's be honest, as black people in the class, we won't ask you the hard headed questions. And if you come at us the wrong way, we're going to tell you, well, our parents said this. And we also know it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think for them it's like a fear, but then you're doing everybody else at just like the surface. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you start talking to people like who came like who grew up in like the middle of nowhere places or like the small communities in college, you're like, oh my god, you really you're yeah, see, no idea. That's see, yeah. let me tell you, that's America is not ready for the unity no, between no, no. If we come because together, will, yeah, will oh our my lives. god, yes. like yes. if we unite yes. Yes. and like that's just like and we gain that power because let me tell you, I feel like when Africans like when we go like after you are suppressed in this country for so long, when you go home and you are just like you look around you and like child, you are black. Child. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is like playing play level field. It's like we're starting from scratch. The ones who are different are the foreigners now. Yes, yeah. and they yes. they they kind of like a sort of right. you see they're like ah, oh, but no, no, like they're different. But I was like. It's like we yeah. all look the yeah. same, yeah. like to the point. And I, I, like when I watch like other YouTubers and stuff, and they're talking about like African Americans who have gone home, and like when they go to Ghana, they're like, you know, there's Ghana has its issues. Too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they say Ghana. Yes, but then, yes, but the, 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 the funny thing is like they're like, oh my, you're so powerful. Yeah, you're so powerful. And if like so many will travel and just go to one Africa or like the island somewhere yeah. like in Barbados and like Jamaica and yes. stuff where you can see people that look like you yes. and then we can unite yeah. oh my god that power that yeah. it will give us I don't think the world is it's ready really for that that's, that's why they killed or that's why Kwame Kuma ended up how he ended up yes. because that was his vision yes. he was trying to make a pan Africa yes. and the pan Africa wasn't just for Africa it was for the world well, yes. Yes. literally Kwame Kuma and W.B. Du Bois best friends that's why Du Bois left oh, the yes. United States yes. yeah. he renounced his United States yeah. citizenship yeah. and he became a Ghanaian citizen yes. and wow. died in Ghana yes. because they understood that literally once you link up black together, together that the forces the forces yeah. yes. because the thing is like even in like many African countries, the resources are there. Yeah, it's it's there. the yeah. education that we don't have to like. It's like you have gold. We don't know. We what have the raw material. We don't know what to do. We don't know. We don't, know, we do don't do have it. the equipment. We yeah. don't have the things to like make it make into it, like yes. gold. Because a lot of me, I can't go buy gold. But yeah. I can buy a gold chain. Yes. I can buy a gold bracelet. I can buy a gold ring. So that's like we we don't have the infrastructure, the equipment, and the things that we need to like yes. make it into like what it is. But the resources are yeah. there, yeah. and yeah. I just exactly. oh. And literally, the United States education that African Americans have, plus the resources ah. and experience that Africans have on the continent combined together, it would, yeah, would, just, yeah, it would be it amazing. Would be amazing. We don't need anybody else. Will watch. I would be everyone will watch. It would be better than Wakanda. Yes, right? yes, I'm telling you. Yes. Like, you know, and I think that's why so that movie in particular, like, so what's the title? I keep calling it uh, Black Panther. Black, Black Panther. Yes. That's, <laughs> like, I think that's why so many people came to get like right. that particular movie is like you go to the movie theater and it's like so many like Africans, African Americans and there's this like mutual not like, <laughs> like, like we're here for this like we're here for this like time and this was for us we <laughs> want more of that we want more of that honestly this topic like really made our dad nervous because he was like, ah, why would you talk about Africans in Africa? Do you hate them? And I said, no, we don't hate Africa, but that's why we want to bring it to yeah. life for us to like, you know, so if you're one of quote unquote those people um, that kind of feel some type of way about like African Americans or African American feeling some type of way about Af actually when you meet that person, talk to them. Yes. Yeah. Have a conversation yeah. because me and that young girl in college, I don't even know her name. Like we always sat like a little bit further away from each other. That was our first conversation, and it was like the first time in our history book that they read about Nkuma in a history book. And they were like, "And who's this guy again?" And I'm like, "Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You don't know my own like you don't know my president who is fast and gone." But like I took so much pride, and me and her like we, the teacher just like allowed it for like a good fifty. We went at each. Other. Like it was like I 
don't hate you. And you don't hate me. Whatever your mom told you, she's wrong. Whatever maybe I've heard from my parents or uncles and aunties, they're wrong. We need to come together. You yes. and I, we could be related. Yes. Like, you know, you did the first relationship move from Ghana. So, like, these are some of the things we need to, like, try and figure it out. Yeah. And just, like, no, because it goes deeper down into like anti blackness yes. within both societies. And, and please, one day, can we talk about that? Literally, yes. like, yes, yes, black black yes. Yes. in black people. Yes. yes, it does a lot. Like, terrorism, anti blackness in African Americans, in yes. Africans, yes. like, especially like African women. It's like, oh, see, the pride that some parents get when their daughters and sons say, Oh, I met a white boy. I'm right. Right. Okay. It's okay. Boy. Oh, no. girls, girls. Okay. Before you go further <laughs> into this, we will make a video. We okay. should. Yeah. So I want to say, um, um, the African country should keep doing the thing they just did. Um, the year of return. I think if all you should do it, it, then the kids that are born outside, they will be learning more oh, and they will take their education and stuff back yeah. at yeah. home. Yeah. And thanks to social media because people are documenting yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. putting it out, yes. out there for like mm -hmm. everybody to see. Like, to see. This is really like, it's the countries you are, they're talking about are beautiful. Yes. Yes. Ghana is beautiful. Like, like I watched um, like, a young, um, she's a Nigerian. I don't know if she left yours or London, but she went back home and she's making a furniture. She said she's making an empire and she started a business. She wasn't born in Africa. Yeah. But then she brought all what she has learned and she's so proud. Yes, yeah, so you're supporting her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but some so people even go to the f uh, further, they acquire property. Yeah. And like people are starting to know, like, in America, you pay mortgage 30 years. Oh, you never if you go to Ghana, you own the house. It's your property. Yes, I mean, yes. now we're doing mortgage yeah. systems and stuff in yeah. Ghana too. But a lot you of the properties, like, yeah, yeah, if you can yeah. buy yourself a land yeah. and you can build yeah. on it, yeah. it's yeah. yours. Yeah. Mortgage free yeah. for the rest of your life. Yeah. Your children will inherit, your grandchildren will. Like, you know, those are some of the things right. that, like, both we need to, like, like, like years. And when yeah. we're talking about generational wealth, that's. Generational wealth. Yes. The yes. white people have generational wealth yes. because they built on land yes. for property value. Yes. 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 So if we're doing this on the continent, yes. a hundred years later, yes. our kids are gonna be yes. rich, 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 like yes. rich, rich. And if there's gonna be that respect for those countries yes. and say like yeah. the value there will accept it or receive, it's like you will get a degree in Ghana, you come and then they want to tell you your degree is like yes. nothing, yes. nothing. Yes. like you know, if that. And I think um, when I think we are going over time, but then I think that's another thing when um, our parents get to this country, they think um, African Americans hate them because when they see them working in like this force, Walmart, and all of things you call it, they don't show them respect. You should be honest, yeah. they don't show them yeah, respect. But what they forget is, you might be in this country, you don't have that degree, but a lot of Africans in this country, the older generation, they've schooled back home yeah. because very of the yeah, 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 people have PhD and whatever. But because of the situation in this country, when they come here, like, they don't get that opportunity. Yeah. And because of the disrespect they get back, mm -hmm. they like to, like, your children have to go to school, they have to do this, mm -hmm. do this, and then you have to let them know this group, like, you know. So that's yeah. when everything that's where is that. Yeah. But you shouldn't disrespect them for no. where you see them work because yes. you don't know them. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. 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 Well, before we leave, we just want to tell you all to please subscribe, yeah. like, comment, yeah. hit the notification. Bell button subscribe and make sure so most important importantly you subscribe subscribe share with everyone yes. and if you're a viewer and you want to be a guest let us know yes. we can yeah. we can arrange something yes. you know so yeah OG subscribers <laughs> yes and um <laughs> so on that note the god girls are out, out. <laughs>